Taking pictures of the night sky can be fraught with challenges. One of the main issues is the rotation of the Earth. So if you point a telescope or a camera at the sky, then within a few minutes the object will drift out of view. But the rotation of the Earth can actually be used to your advantage. If you take a camera and point it at the sky, you can get stunning star trail photography. Now all you need is a camera capable of taking long exposure pictures, you need a nice sturdy tripod, a wide angle lens and a timer or intervalometer and with all of that you can take some wonderful images. Now you could just point the camera at the sky and expose it for maybe 30 minutes or an hour and that will give you a beautiful image of the star trails but it will also capture any light that's in the sky and that can actually produce some rather unsightly sky glow. But the technique that I use involves taking lots of shorter exposure pictures and then adding them together at a computer later and that removes the unsightly effect of the light pollution. Now the first thing we need to do is get the camera focused and to do that I point at Polaris, the North Pole Star, which doesn't move very much in the sky and that makes focusing a whole lot easier. So set the camera lens onto focus, which you can do by looking at the lens, and then line it up on Polaris in the sky. We then need to set the ISO setting to about 3200 or as high as you can set yours to. And then set the aperture as wide as you can. I've got mine on f4, it's not a very fast lens, but f4 will be enough. And then take a 10 second exposure. And once you've done that, you can look at the image, zoom in digitally to see how sharp the star is, and then we know that the camera has got perfect focus. So we'll see what the result looks like on this. And actually it looks pretty good. So I know the camera is focused, I'm now ready to take the pictures. But one thing to bear in mind is that the, the camera lens can actually dew up quite easily in the, the cold night air. So you need to perhaps use something like this, which is an electronic dew heater, which actually warms the lens and stops the formation of dew. And this is actually plugged into a big battery. The other thing to be aware of is the battery of the camera itself, because in the cold conditions of the night, they can drain quite fast. So if you've got a second battery, just be guess best to get that charged up. So now all I've got to do is take the pictures. So I'm going to use the intervalometer and set for 200 images all of about 20 seconds. And by doing that I should end up with about well, just over an hour of pictures to stack together on the computer. So I'll set that running and now it's time for tea. There are some great pieces of free software on the web to process the images. I use StarStacks for mine, and all you do simply is you tell the software which files you wish to process, and that's where the magic happens. You set it running.